Revit schedules are one of the most valuable functions in Revit. The bilateral communication between the schedule and modeled elements reduces human error that occur in non-BIM files. Wouldn't it be nice if you could edit the schedule like a typical spreadsheet using functions like autofill? Well, actually, you can. Let's take a look. I'm going to jump to a second floor floor plan, select the room, and populate some of the finishes. We'll say the uh, floor has carpet one. We'll say the north wall finish is paint one. And the base is a rubber base. So if I were to jump to the room finish schedule, those values have been populated here as expected. But what if we wanted all the hotel rooms to, to have all the same finishes and be applied to the, all the walls and the ceilings as well? Well, we could go back and do like we did there, or I could come in here and start typing in the values. But here is where an autofill would be extremely helpful. So that's where the CTC tool spreadsheet links comes in handy. I could simply use spreadsheet link to push values out of the Revit model into a spreadsheet. And I can do that via category. Or if I already have the schedule built, which in this case I do, I can push it out per that schedule. Now I could quickly sort it by the room name. And that way it puts all the hotel rooms together and simply use my autofill to quickly populate all of these finishes. And then I can push those values back into the Revit model. Now, if you look at the Revit schedule, it's actually gone and applied those parameter values to the elements themselves. So if I were to go back here to the floor plan and select a different room, you can see all of the parameter values have been applied to those parameters. If you find this tool to be useful and want to learn more about it, check out the link below for webinars of this tool as well as all the CTC tools. If you would like a personal tour, please give us a call and we would be happy to provide a personalized demonstration tailored to your specific needs.